Yes, hello everyone. Welcome to SwiftLearn, India's most sincere learning destination for class 1 to 10. In SwiftLearn, we have 100% live and interactive classes. Personalized attention will be given to each and every student where the maximum batch size is 6 students. A dedicated academic mentor will be allotted to track and work on your progress. We also cover syllabus as per your school examination schedule. And also we handle custom requests. A key feature is we provide you with a detailed progress report card on a monthly basis. Students can take Swift Learn Academic Test Series, a scholarship exam conducted every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Students can take unlimited practice tests. And all the practice tests are subjective as well as objective for your school examination. So students, those on new book a free trial class today. Also, don't forget to subscribe our channel, hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any update. I am Shashank sir and today I will be teaching you a new chapter, decimals and its operations. So yes, objectives of the today's class will be we're going to learn about the parts of a decimal number, place value, face value, expanding a decimal number. All these things we are going to learn in our today's class. But earlier medical checkup in your school where the doctor measured your height to be 3.8 feet. Okay, your PT teacher measured your weight at this much kgs, this much kgs, this much point, this much kgs. So, but do you know this? exactly in the height of the case what is this 3 and what is this 0.8 okay so this 3 represents what does this dot represent okay so why the nist numbers are written like this okay this number represent decimals so what are decimal numbers okay so decimal numbers can be defined as the numbers which has two part the whole part and the fractional part where the fractional part is separated by a decimal point okay so dot in the decimal number is called as decimal point the digit following the decimal point shows a value smaller than one yes so 2.5 is nothing but two and a half this 0.5 is less than one now why do we need to study decimal numbers okay a lot of transactions in bank in malls in online shopping okay sometimes it takes place in paisas okay in decimal numbers distance traveled by spaceships in this when traveling from earth to mars and all okay that may also uh, like decimals are involved time in launching something okay they all involve decimals okay length of some building and all so may look small but for the big things it is big so Rahul is collecting money for Children's Day celebration in the society. Okay. So everyone paid respective rupees. Okay. So before they used to be paisas. Okay. Now days you may not know what is a paisa. Paisa is a subnet of rupees. Okay. So yes, 100 paisas is 1 rupees. Now calculate the amount 10, 30, 45. 55, 57, 65, 75, 75 and 8. Okay, 83, 83 and 30 is 133. How many pesas are there? 50 pesas. Okay. So add them all. Let's add 50, 50 paisa, 50 paisa, 50 paisa is 1 rupee. Okay. 25 and 75 is 1 rupee. Okay. And this one. 70 and 30 is 1 rupee. So add this 3 rupees to this. So we have 136 rupees and 35 paisa. Yes, if we I, if you have done the calculation right, it is one thirty six rupees. Okay, so hundred and thirteen rupees and this much paisas now. This much paisa. Okay, so hundred paisa is one rupee. So convert that, so you will get three rupees. Okay, add that three rupees, you will be left with thirty five paisas. Correct. We have done it right. Now, 29 rupees 30 paisa can be written as 29.3. 15 rupees 67 paisas can be written as 15.67. 3 rupees 4 paisa. Now, students, you write like this. This is wrong. If it was 3 rupees 40 paisa, this would have been the right answer. 
तो थ्री रुपीज जीरो फोर सेवेंटी एट रुपीज फिफ्टी पैसा फाइव जीरो एट रुपीज सिक्सटी थ्री पैसा दिस आर दी आंसर्स लेट्स टॉक अबाउट डेसिमल्स नाउ सी दिस नंबर ओके डेसिमल नंबर हैज टू पार्ट द होल पार्ट व्हिच इज फोर्टी फाइव एंड द डेसिमल पार्ट व्हिच इज सिक्स ओके नाउ दिस इज वंस प्लेस टेंस प्लेस दिस इज टेंथ्स प्लेस let's move further let's see what is face value and place value do you remember this indian numerical system so this is called as units period thousands period lakhs periods and crores period so face value and place value the face value of a digit its is its value of the digit itself in the number okay whatever the number is that the same number is the face value and place value is the value of the digit in a number nahi samjhe for example let's see here let's see an example face values and place values face value of 2 is 2 and place value of 2 in this number is 2000 now let us draw place value chart okay yes So this is ones place, this is tens place, this is hundreds place, this is thousands place, and this is ten thousands place. We know that a number gets bigger and bigger when we go from left to right. So when we go from left to right, it becomes ten times bigger. Okay, but when we move from right to left, the number reduces by ten. So this is tens place, hundreds place, and thousands place. so let's see this example let us draw the value chart of this number so yes see this how to write this so 3 is in thousands place 1 is in hundreds place 2 is in tens place 9 is in ones place this number is in tens place hundreds place and thousands place yes now make a place value chart of the following number so 4 3 1 Two one. This is thousands place. One stands hundred. This is hundreds place. This is tens place. This is ones place. This is tens place. T e n t h s. Tens place. This is hundreds place. H u n d r e d t h s. Hundreds place. Yes. Sixty-five point four one four. Same. This is tens place. This is ones place. This is tens place. T e n t h s. Tens place. This one is hundreds place. This is thousands place. T h o u s a n d. T H S thousands place. Yes. Okay. Check out how a decimal number is expanded. How to expand this number? We know how to expand this three thousand one hundred twenty nine, but how to expand this decimal number? The same. It continues. So it is three into one thousand plus one into hundred. Plus two into ten plus nine into one plus two by ten plus seven by hundred plus five by thousand. This is the expanded form. Write the expanded form of this number. So yes, this can be written as forty plus eight plus three by ten plus six by hundred plus nine by thousand. Yes. Write in words how to write this. So eight point zero zero five or eight and five thousands. So this is the right answer to write in words. This is used usually eight and five thousands. This one zero and seventy five hundreds. Yes. Or zero point seven five. This one forty seven and six tenths. Write forty seven and point six. Four hundred sixty. Four hundred sixty 
and five thousands tens hundreds thousand this is the answer yes so write each of the following as a decimal numbers 2 by 10 can be written as 0 0.2 7 by 10 can be written 0 0.07 okay 2 by 10 again the same thing 0 0.2 if i make this 100 for a change 0 0.02 this is 0 0.007 this is how we write this okay so write each of the following in decimal place I, okay I, okay 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 so the question was uh, like i need to scroll and it was not complete so yes write this number in decimal form so this is 75 plus 75 plus 2 by 10 plus 7 by 100, which is nothing but 75.27. This is nothing but 0 0.27. Okay, sorry, this is 0 0.2 and this is by 1000, so 0 0.207. Okay, so what about this? 6 plus 5 by 100 plus 9 by 1000. How to solve this? It is nothing but 6.059. For this, understood? Yes. Next. Write decimal numbers in word. 0 and 17 thousandths, 20 and 1 tenths. This is how we write in words. Okay. Write each of the following in. Following as decimals. 5 and 1's. 5 ones, it is 5 ones and 4 tenths, 5.4. 9 and 25,000. 9 and 25,000 means 9 plus 25 by 1000. This is nothing but 9.025. Got this? Yes. What about this? Okay, so this type of question tricked us last time. Yes, so 272. 272 point. Okay, 13 is that. 13 by 100 is 0 0.13. 0 0.13 plus 272 is 272.3. 0.13. 36.2. This is the answer. Yes. Okay. So what have we learned today? Today we learned about the parts of the decimal numbers, place value, face value of numbers, expanding a decimal number. Yes. So that's all for today. Students, those are new, subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any update. I'm Shashank sir signing off. Bye-bye. Have a nice day, everyone.